healthy friends welcome back to creative art i am nilima and in today's tutorial we are going to do decoupage art on a fabric pouch i have done decoupage art on so many different surfaces but this is my first and successful attempt to do decoupage art on a fabric pouch so friends do watch the complete tutorial to make it yourself and do subscribe to my channel to watch more creative art painting tutorials and do press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on a recent art form now let's check out all the materials to do this diy first of all we are going to need this beautiful decoupage napkin this is a floral print three ply decoupage napkin next to place this napkin on the base we are going to need deco magic premium decoupage glue to seal our art we are going to use deco varnish i like to use the glossy one to prepare our base i'm going to use a white acrylic paint this is snow shade from little birdie and for our base this time i'm using a canvas zip pouch and this is how it looks this can be easily used in our daily life even after decoupage you can use it as any other normal pouch you use in your daily life other than that we are just going to use a palette for pouring paint glue and varnish two flat hair brush and a sponge for dabbing colors all these materials will be listed and linked in the description box below from where you can buy them online now let's start the tutorial friends now first of all we will start by preparing our base which is a canvas pouch and for that i'm going to use snow color acrylic paint from little birdie pour it in our palette it's little thick but this is good for our use now using a sponge dab 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 on the white acrylic paint and start dabbing it in this way on the pouch Now we have to let this side get dry completely and then do the same step on the other side of the pouch. So now friends I will let it get dry. Till that let's start preparing our napkin. Now friends till the base layer is getting dry let's start preparing our decoupage napkin and this is the one we are going to use. It looks so beautiful and bright. So now friends as this is a three ply napkin we do have to separate the top colorful layer from the next two white layers and you can do it from one corner of the napkin in this way where you have to separate this color layer so be very gentle and remove this colorful layer in this way this is quite a big napkin and i'm not sure that i'll need it completely so i'll just select the parts i want to place and now Let's separate the napkin exactly according to the design we want. For that, I'm going to use a round hair brush like this one, some water. You can also do the same process by cutting this design using a sharp scissor. But that would leave you a sharp edging like this one, which would be easily visible on your base. So doing this step is much more convenient and would look much more clean on your And now this is the beautiful piece we have got. So in the same way separate as many as pieces you want for your design like this 
you have also got this single flower you can also separate this kind of small pieces so that you can make fillings few extra leaf to do the filling part and finally then we have to arrange it on our base to do the deco page art so now friends let's check out our base now this is how our pouch will look after coloring from both the side but just touch on the surface you will feel that it's quite bubbly and the surface is quite uh, rough as compared to the surfaces we use to do decoupage napkin or do decoupage artwork on so for this there is a very big solution and that will also make our decoupage art permanent with the acrylic color we have done on this canvas and for that we have to use an iron and iron all the part that we have done acrylic color on and this will make the surface smooth as well as make the acrylic color permanent on this canvas pouch so i'm going to iron it for at least two to three minutes from both the sides and this will help it to be smoother after ironing the pouch this is how it looks it is bubble free and the base is quite smooth and ready to do our next step which is to do decoupage so for that here i have got all my cutout pieces here is my base we are going to use a deco magic premium decoupage glue to place the cutout decoupage napkin on our base so pour deco magic premium glue on. and then select one piece like this one it looks beautiful okay i'm going to place this one here here you see these small cutout pieces are really helpful while filling up few parts so this is how I have arranged all the pieces on this side of the pouch. Now one by one, I'm going to place it by using Deco Magic Glue. So apply enough quantity of Deco Magic Glue on our base. And then start gently pressing it using your flathead brush from center to outwards center to outwards so this will actually prevent your page from any For such type of big pieces, I like to do it part by part. Now for the excess part like this, which is going towards the zip, what you can do is apply a little bit of glue here and tuck in this excess side of the decoupage inside the folded fabric. So this will give you a very neat and clean look with a very nice edging very nice and soft edging okay you see now this is how it looks there is no extended part now using deco page on one side is done and this is how it looks i did add one small piece of leaf on this part so that it may look connected not separated i'm going to let it get dry for at least half an hour then check whether it is completely dry and only then we are going to do the same part on the back side of the pouch okay now after one hour it is completely dry as it's a rainy season it takes a little more time than usual to dry so now let's do the same thing on this side first take approximate measurement where you want to place it right here then 
and reverse way and then thinking to place it this one okay so this is the formation I want for this page so I'll start applying decoupage glue halfway down right then place the decoupage napkin and let it settle I'm going to rotate this part so that I can do this side so here we have one side extension on the bottom we have two extensions now this is how sometimes I do overlaying of decoupage napkin this is a clear leaf from this one and I'm going to just as an extension right here see one leaf is overlapping the other one this can be done in this way now you see there is an extended leaf which we want to fold and it comes easily this way the same this leaf which has to be folded on the other side use a little bit of gum and fold it let it make a very neat look and from this edging you see we have quite a big extension so use a scissor and give it a nice sharp and clean cut even this side we have quite a big extension so give it a nice and sharp cut. Now again, we will let this part get dry completely for at least a half an hour to one hour. And then we can do the next step. Now after an hour, our decoupage has got dried up completely. So now it's time for our next layer of decoupage glue. So using a flat hair brush, apply one more layer of decoupage glue on the decoupage we have done. So this will seal the decoupage from both the sides. And now we will let it get dry for at least 1 to 2 hours till this glue get dry completely. And then we can do our final step to seal our decoupage out on this pouch. Okay. Now after an hour our decoupage glue is completely dry and this is how glossy it looks right now. But let's see how it looks when we add our final step of gloss and for that I'm going to use the decor varnished glossy version using a flat hair brush start applying this glossy glossy varnish on the decoupage art okay so now friends this is how glossy it looks i'm going to let it get dry for at least 24 hours and then from tomorrow we can directly start using it and now this is how beautiful our decoupage canvas pouch looks when it is finally completed and dry after 24 hours look how beautiful and glossy the decoupage art looks on this pouch as if the entire thing was printed and ready-made but there is one difference that this time we have placed these prints by our own hand and it is a handmade pouch. You can use it as any other ordinary pouch to store your pen, pencil or any items you like. I'm going to store some of my palette knives and color pencils in this pouch so they will be safe and secure and I can find it right on place whenever I need it. So friends, do give it a try, make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this tutorial. And if you do like my videos friends, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.